Dave, and I'm going to talk to you about the Singer Adjustable Hammerfoot. I recently became interested in making my own camping gear. The hems on camping gear that I'm looking at are wider than the standard, you know, one quarter to one eighth inch hems that, you know, you, you get nowadays. So I have been keeping my eye open, you know, casually to see if I can come across one of these. And this one I lucked into. I recently bought an old machine and this was included in the accessories for it. So once I had it, I began doing my research, which included watching YouTube videos mostly, on how to use it. Now the videos I watched, uh, they were pretty convoluted on how to use it. Uh, a lot of pre-steps that, you know, just made it frustrating. I tried to follow them and I got frustrated and I set it aside for a few days. Uh, you know, and then a couple of nights ago, I started researching it again and found an instruction manual on needle bar for a Model 99 that included instructions on how to use the adjustable hammer foot. And I'll include the link to the uh, instruction manual. Now, if you follow the Singer instructions, it turns out it's not that difficult to use. Not easy to master, but you can throw it on and in you know, 30 minutes or so, you can start producing some respectable hems. So right now, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this guy, we're going to put it on the star of our video, who's in the other room, and she's going to make some hems for us. So let's go meet her right now. This is the star of our video, a Singer Model 15-91. I named her Grimhilda after the Wicked Queen from Snow White because she is beautiful she is old, and she is cruel. She does not forgive any mistakes. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and do her demonstration, shall we? Very easy, according to Singer. Now, there's been a couple of videos I've seen that make it look really difficult, and actually it's not. Uh, you don't have to do any prep work on your material. You don't need to start a hem. You don't need to iron it. I mean, this is, you know, a pretty rough material I'm starting with right here. It's not even, if you look, it's not even cut straight. So that's just me, uh, previous attempts, practicing and making a mess out of it. So, but it's easy. Even making a mess is easy. So what you want to do you take your cloth, get it underneath, turn this right edge up into that little gap between the ruler and that lower guide. So, there you go. Just pops right in. And then I'm going to get my thread out of the way here because we're going to be working over here on this left side. So I got it started. Just kind of feed it over. Now when you first start, you're not going to get it all the way to the stop bar over here. What you're going to wind up with it doing is stopping at the curve right there. So that's not a big deal. You just remember that this end down here is not the full width of your final hem. It's about eighth of an inch shy of the width it should be. So to keep from having a little wave at the beginning there, just account for that once you get your hem started. So according to the instruction manual, you just work it back and forth and the hem will appear. Now, this material, as you can see, is shredding, so I'm not going to sit there and run it against metal that much to get it to shred. So I'm going to cheat and I'm going to start the hem on this end. And you can do this with any material, it'll probably just make it go a little bit quicker. So, get a little curl under there. Hold it down. OK. 
Okay, then you back it up, and then I do the same on this end. Get a little curl going already, and then just feed it through till you see it coming through the foot already folded for you. Okay, it's and like I say, you can go back and forth to do it. And there it is. Okay, now once you get it going, start backing it up. I keep it coached on this back side. There we go. Now I'm to a point where my big old thumb there can't go any further. It'd be nice if it could, but it can't. So I'm going to have to do the rest of it, not feeding it, but tugging it. So if I tug it on this part, I'm just going to wind up unraveling it. So I'm going to put my finger underneath and tug the bottom back. And get it down to where the needle. And then if I look at it there, other than my roll, I've got my full width. Okay, now I have been doing that at seven stitches an inch. And I'm going to up it a little bit. Getting the feet a little bit slower for me. Okay. So, now when you get it running, you don't need to do a whole lot of anything at the beginning. I give it just a little bit of pressure. Not even enough to where I'm pushing on the metal. I'm just giving the cloth a little bit of pressure just to encourage it to go over to the bar there. And then on the back side, I just lift it up. I'm not feeding, I'm not tugging, I'm not doing anything. Okay, so we got our... Just gonna set my needle. There. And we're going to sew. Here we go. Okay, just watching it go. Now, one thing I noticed is that it'll, at the end, it will have a tendency to wander to the right there. So, just keep that in mind, keep the pressure over there, and yeah, I got a little bit something weird there happen, but not bad. So, at the end there, and that's just me, my control issues, uh, I let it get away from me, always let it get away just a bit at the end, so, you can see, that's the back side, nice, good stitch, I'll take some stills of these, I know the video doesn't pick it up because I did white on white. I tried to use some green earlier, but the green just completely blacked out what I was doing. So the white on white actually gives a good bit of contrast. So, and flick it here. That is a hem that's not coming out. And it went the whole way. I lost a little bit right there.
until I got weird there at the end. And just to wrap up, for anybody who managed to make it this far in the video, uh, a few items. Uh, I did have to adjust my tension up just about a full notch, maybe a, almost a notch and a half, uh, to get a good tension with the hammer foot. Uh, other than that, there weren't any real catches using it. Uh, the hems I'm making weren't anything that would impress our grandmothers. Uh, you know, they were making items to be seen on the streets of Los Angeles and New York. I'm making hems for items that are going to be seen in the mountains of North Carolina. So, I hope uh, you did get something out of watching the video, and I look forward to any comments anybody has. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.